Hi there, welcome to Kemi Shaves and welcome to Pentsmuir Forest and Beach. Um, I've came here, I've never been here before uh, for a shave, to film a shave, I've been here plenty of times. It's um, roughly about 10-15 miles from where I live across the uh, River Tay uh, in a place called Fife and it's, uh, there's lots of forest around here uh, back down that way uh, is the beach. Uh, I didn't want to film there, it was a little bit windy so um, uh, I've took some shots of that and then I've walked back up here to the forest so uh, yeah let's go and have a shave um, we'll find a good spot and then we'll get the shave started but I'll go and find a spot and while I'm doing that I'll film some stuff of me finding a spot how you doing it's good to see you it's nice to be outdoors it's a nice sunny day in Scotland for a change right let's go and have a shave Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves, nice to see you. Um, I found a little space in the forest, the sun's kind of peeking through the tree so hopefully it won't be too much. Um, I've set a mirror up on the tree, I've put a little nail in and I've just hung the mirror there. I'll show you um, at the end of the shave. Let me show you what we're using today. Uh, shaving stick, spike, uh, it looks like this, here it is here, that colour. Um, the razor is Mercur Progress long handle, adjustable. The brush is the IC shaving brushes. Uh, this is the blue swirl kind of thing. Very nice. Here it's there. Yeah, so there's kind of people walking about these trails and stuff like that, but it should be okay. This is a little kind of secluded bit that's uh, in among some gorse. It's kind of off the beaten path, so we'll see how it gets on, uh, how it goes. But yeah, I just wanted to Shave outdoors. Show you guys this uh, tense muir, tense muir uh, forest and beach. Um, yeah, so it's nice, peaceful, quiet, getting away from all the troubles in the world, uh, and just uh, having a, a relaxing shave with you guys. And I need it. Look, yeah, it's quite a look at that mirror there. Superb. Right, let's uh, get some water on the face, and then we'll we'll rub the the stick in. I've got a. Three layers of water here. <laughs> I think that's enough. Right. <clears throat> wet the brush while we're here. Yeah, just wet the brush, right? Let's uh, go with this stick. Just adjust that mirror there. Yeah, getting away from all the uh, madness in the world. I'll just actually put some on the brush as well, like this. An outdoor shave, you can't beat it. Right, I think that'll be enough, hopefully. Put that down there and we'll just go. Yeah, the reason I brought that stick was um, just so it was easy to kind of pack in the bag and stuff. And stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not looking for a perfect shave outdoors. It doesn't really matter. I've got a, a container in my bag that I've actually forgotten to fill with water. <laughs> so we'll just have, I'll put the brush on a towel. Can you see that okay? Let me just uh, tilt that camera. 
down a little bit. There we go. Top better. Yeah, that looks good. Actually, I'm going to have to get that bowl so I could uh, rinse the razor. Right, let me just get it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Right, just, uh, yeah, one of these um, collapsible ones, you know, with the little nodules in it. So I'll just fill that up. With water. You could just look at the forest now. <laughs> so, um, the progress. Uh, these two little lines have to match up on the head. I'm having it on setting three to start with. So, let's go. With the Persona Med Prep blade. And uh, if you see these blades, they have um, for hospital use only. How's your shaves going? Oh, I catch myself there. No, I don't think so. No, no prep shave, which is very unusual for me. But as I say, I'm not looking for uh, perfection here. Just a nice shave in the peace and calm of the forest. <laughs> this mirror's kind of tilted a bit, so... I'm having to, uh Slightly adjust. Right. I'll just put that there. I've not started this very well, have I? I was meant to wet this cloth too, and... <laughs> right, I'll do that. I'll put some water on this uh, face cloth over here. Do it. a big bit there, look. <laughs> yeah, who was it? Who was it suggested to bring a mirror the next time? <laughs> yeah, let me show let me show you the mirror. It's a uh, very cheap plastic. Here we go. So this, this is it here. When I got it, it was kind of broke, so I just glued it, <laughs> and uh, it hangs up on that. And I, I see I've got a little, just a little panel pin in the tree, like that. There we go. Right. Feels good. Feels okay. I don't know if, if this camera's set just right. Let me just. It's not about. It's not all about me, right? Oh, <laughs> there goes the mirror again. Yeah, I should have really taped this up. Because there's a little thing on the back, and once that angles, it kind of falls down a bit, so... I've got a little piece of blue tack just kind of holding it in place there. But it's probably going to fall again. I'll probably end up breaking this mirror by the end of the shave. <laughs> just like total frustration. <laughs> right, let's see how that goes. It'll hold for a little bit. Right, back to this. Right, I'm going to turn the razor down to setting uh, two. Set two. Right. Back to this brush. Yeah, 
yeah, I did get myself a little, a tiny little nick. A tiny little nick shaves. <laughs> Just adding some water there. Did you see me jump there? I thought the mirror was going to fall, but it's just uh, it's just that stupid angle thing that's happening again. Oh, I'm not going to have to keep doing this every two minutes, am I? If it does it again, I'm just going to use the screen. Right. Back to the razor. Here we go. Across the growth. I could feel that mirror just going again. Someone asked me, um, what's your favourite razor between the Progress and the Parker variant? And uh, it changes all the time for me. At first I hated the Progress. Just because of the way it looked, with this kind of metal, metal knob, um, metal knob, with the uh, plastic ring, this plastic dial, sorry, you know this kind of yellow bakelite thing. I didn't like that, but I like the retro look of it now. Um, yeah, I like the retro look of it. But then when I use the, uh, when I use the Parker variant, I think that's really nice as well. They're both very similar. They shave very similar. I'm going across the growth, haven't I? I actually brought some pre-shave as well. There's a mirror going away to go again. There it goes, it goes. Right, I'm just going to do it like this. In the screen, so you guys can see too. Yeah, so there's lots of... Um, trails through this forest which I'll go on some once the shave's over um, we'll do that I'll show you about there's different little kind of buildings and stuff that I'll show you um, right I'm just going with this actually I'm just going to do two passes and a, a little clean up pass on my neck here and cheeks Oh, what the hell, let's go for three. Yeah, so it's a nice uh, sunny day. Yeah, I did go on to the beach, but... It was a little bit windy. Um, I couldn't really talk over the uh, the wind. Well, it wasn't really windy, but you know, these uh, mics are pretty sensitive, so... Right, that looks good. Right, I'll turn it down to uh, one and a half for the pickups and the third pass against the growth. You know what, I'm just going to hold that mirror like that. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? I got um for my Christmas from my very good friend Ernie Rocha. I got a new rucksack, which I'm uh, using today. Yeah, could you see that little tiny? I'm using it today. Yeah, Ernie sent me it uh, from the states. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's really nice. So it's filled with uh, shaving gear, filming stuff, <laughs> aftershave, all the little bits you need. I thought to myself, that'll be great, I'll be able to put everything in that rucksack. And then I remembered I've got to bring some water. So um, 
I had to bring another rucksack with the three litre bottle of water. <laughs> but it was fine. Right, that's good enough. That feels great. Wipe this with this cloth. Oh, sunshine. You see that coming right there on my face? That's great. That's a very acceptable shave for the in the woods. Yeah, feels good. Feels good. Right, I've got a little uh, thing of aftershave here. I noticed that it was in my kind of travel bag. I think it's um, it smells like uh, Superdrug Forest Fresh, which is quite apt for having a shave in the forest. So. Let's just put some of that on. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, it is forest fresh. That's what it is. Let's put the leg back on that. And I did have some balm, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, this is what I was going to use as a pre-shave. It's um, Trumpers. It's um, is it Trumpers skin food? Yeah, sandalwood skin food. I was going to use some of that, so I'll just use that. Let me just put that there. This is good stuff. Oh, someone wanted, someone wanted to see my um, tattoo before. Here it is here. It says, uh, just playing the blues. And uh, that's my initials, KP, sitting on a box. With the old uh, windmill in the background there. And that's me sitting playing guitar. With my um, hat turned back to front. With uh, NY on it. Yeah, there we go. That's my uh, tattoo. I can't remember who it was. I wanted to see it. <laughs> right, that's an excellent shave. Very quick. There's a little birdie there. No, I'm not doing shaves today. Little birdie, nope. What do you think? He's maybe smelly after. There's maybe a, there's maybe a ladybird. Not a ladybird, like a female bird. And, Maybe smell the aftershave. Ooh, you smell nice, Mr. Kevy. Thank you. <laughs> right. Yeah, the sun's kind of moving between the trees. That's the shave done. Very good. Um, I won't go over what I've used, but um, I've enjoyed it. It's good shave. One little tiny nick there. The aftershave will seal up, hopefully. Um, but what I'll do now is I'll get this all cleared up, put it in the ticket back away in the bag, uh, and then we'll go for a walk and uh, I'll show you some more stuff around the forest. I really like these outdoor shaves, I've not done them enough. Uh, the weather isn't usually that good, but it's very mild for uh, January here in Scotland. It's um, about 10 degrees, which is I guess about 10, 20, about f uh, kind of high 40s, maybe 50 degrees in the States and Fahrenheit. So um, yeah, pretty good, pretty pretty mild for this time of year. It's usually like sometimes we get here, it's like minus three and four and snow, wind, rain, but it's actually a very calm day today. Sun's out, there's no wind. Listen. Yeah, someone walking past over there. Right, okay, I'll get things packed up and then we'll go for a wee walk and uh, we'll see what happens in the forest. <laughs> but um, that should be good. Right, okay, I'll see you in a little while. But thanks for joining me for the shave. If you don't want to see the forest, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, take care for the rest of you. Let's go on a little adventure. See ya soon.
Okay, we're gonna play a little game here. You see these three trees? One, two, three. You've got to guess which one uh, Kevy's gonna jump out of. Not literally jump out of from behind. So is it the middle one? Or is it the left one? Or is it the right one? So that one over, where are we? Over here and this one here. So I'll let you have a look at the trees. Uh, get your kids to play along too. Uh, which one is Kevy gonna appear from? The thing I love about this uh, Tensmuir Forest is so quiet. There's a lot of um, devastation, the kind of trees, not devastation, but trees have been blown over. We had a storm um, a few weeks ago now, Storm Arwen, and there was a lot of trees brought down. So obviously the wildlife maybe has had to adapt and kind of change and stuff like that. But um, if you could hear a gunshot in the distance, actually, there's an there's a army base at um, a place called Lukers. And they're probably on the firing range just now. I can hear it, kind of bullets in the distance. Oh, they've stopped. Yeah, so what I was saying was that the wildlife has had to kind of adapt, uh, stuff like that. So, um, but it's so quiet. But sometimes, like, depending on the time of day, you can hear, like, there are some, like, rare birds. I don't know if you'll hear one. <laughs> I think I could hear one. Is there one just there? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, so as I was saying about the, uh, the, the recent storm caused uh, a lot of devastation to Lots and lots of trees in, in the UK and Scotland and uh, let me just turn the camera and let you show you some of the uh, trees that have came down here. Look at these big trees. Scots pines, look. The thing about, me, about these is, if you're anywhere near these when they fell, look at these branches, they're like, they're like spears. They really are really sharp, these little branches there, like they would go right through your skull if you were underneath one of these trees falling down yeah there's a lot of uh, trees down in this particular area of the the forest which is a shame but uh, that's nature I guess yeah so there's one there it's happened all over the UK actually that storm are when it was really quite devastating but there's a lot of them still standing as you can see yeah lovely light Shining through the trees, the sunlight just catching some of the tree tops there. Really beautiful day here, absolutely lovely. Blue sky in Scotland, look at that. You can't beat it, can you? Yeah, look at the size of some of these trees. But as we come closer down, there's a lot of uh, trees down. It'll take a while to clear all this lot. That's just one little part of the forest. Right, okay. We'll uh, carry on with the walk. Beware what lurks in the swamp.
Okay, I've just uh, stopped here for a, a cup of coffee. Do you want one? Yeah, just a nice uh, cup of joe. Here you go. Cheers. Yeah, there's a little, I'm sitting on a, it's like a piece of concrete. It must be something to do, like a lookout post, because the, the beach is just over that way. Just maybe about 400, 500 yards, um, but the tide's out, so it's way out. So uh, I'm just stopping for a coffee. There's actually, I was going to show you this, uh, I think I called it a rucksack. No, 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 it's a haversack. Uh, this was from Ernie, Ernie Rocha. Thank you, Ernie. Uh, he put the Scotland patch on it there. Yeah, so it's all, it's made by Hidden Woodsman, made in the USA. Uh, there's their little badge there. So it comes like that, you can adjust all the straps. It has these clips. Uh, let me show you inside. That would be better if I just turn the camera down a little bit, wouldn't it? You see that? Look, there's my uh, hammer <laughs> for for hammering the nail into the tree to put the mirror up. Right, so it has these clips here. <clears throat> uh, inside, there we go. Has this front pouch here, which I have some camera accessories and stuff. Actually, there's their card uh, there. Hidden Woodsman. Yeah, so um, it has a zip on the front here. Another little pouch that was just uh, for the microphone um, on the camera. Yeah, I've got stuff in there iPad, towel, there's the, the shave soap. There's another little compartment here. Uh, I guess you can all see that. There's little, I like these little bits down the side. There's little um, pouches at the side here. Um, it's kind of made of this waterproof stuff, I guess. Looks great. Another zip on the front. Um, yeah, a rucksack. I, I was telling there, I remember when I was a kid, and we used to get, um, we, we used to have rucksacks for school. Not a rucksack, a haversack, sorry. I keep calling it the wrong thing. Uh, haversacks. But they weren't anything as good as this. Um, this haversack. Very good. Nice material, easy to wipe clean. This isn't a review on this, I just wanted to show you because I think it's really cool. Uh, so, thank you Ernie. It has these little bits at the side, you can put stuff in there, I guess. Yeah. The thing I like when you adjust the straps, it has little, even little ties, little velcro things that you can, so that this bit isn't all hanging down and stuff like that, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Right, <clears throat> let me turn the camera back up so I can, uh, so you can see my ugly mush. And I'll get some more coffee. I can't believe how nice a day it is here in, uh, in the woods in Scotland. It's sun shining. Obviously, it's a bit dark with the canopy of the trees and stuff like that. Canopy of the trees, Kev, you! <clears throat> but um, beyond that, out to the beach, it's beautiful sunshine. It's like a spring day. Um, yeah, just really good, but it's so peaceful here. It is so peaceful. So, I'll. Uh, I'll go and some, I'll maybe film some other stuff, just a little bit more. Let's how much butter have I got left, still enough. Um, I'll enjoy my coffee, just sit and relax and contemplate life and think about things and stroke my face. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> do you guys do that as well, yeah? Oh, that feels good. Face turbation. <laughs> right, okay, I'll, uh, I'll get going just now. I'll finish my coffee and then I'll walk back, head back to the car, and I might film another couple little bits. Don't know how long this video's going on, but that's okay. Right, I'll see you soon.
Oh, that was amazing. Such fun. Great. I love doing these paths on my bike. On my motorbike. Really good. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Uh, that's all for me for today from the beautiful Tensmuir Forest. I've had a a great deal of fun. I've been here for about five hours filming all this. Um, it's been good fun. Thank you very much for joining me for this video. Uh, I'm going away now to try and catch some haggis for tea. I've heard there are some wild haggis in this uh, forest, so I'll go and see if I can catch some for, for my dinner. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves. Get outside and have a shave in the woods or even in your garden or on your balcony if you have one. Uh, right, okay, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. See ya. Little haggis! Little haggis!